always gets off and is always released by the courts. He said that there is need for the government agencies to collaborate to end the menace in that region. An indicator like this one it just tells you we are just about there. Kumaliza Ikitu. Yes, arrests are there. They have been made, including the prime suspect is in custody. By yesterday, there were about uh, five. Uh, we are still taking the data. Yeah. Uh, to Tawachia agencies, um, the investigating officers plus the prosecutor, Wataka Chini Paboja, Wajue, the kind of charges that they will prefer. Away from that, now to a developing story. A court right here in Nairobi has allowed the police to detain four suspects in the Mbakasi gas explosion case for 21 days to allow them complete investigations. The four who include the owner of the premise, Derek Kimathi, and three NEMA officials were arraigned yesterday through a miscellaneous application by the DCI seeking to have the four suspects remanded for 21 days to enable the police carry out and conclude the investigations over the gas explosion incident that so far has killed seven people. Principal Magistrate Dolphina Alego gave those orders. The second and the fourth, res and the fourth respondent they will be held for the 21 days that applicant has applied for. For the third respondent, the court has taken judicial notice that he has a delicate condition, delicate medical condition that would require delicate measures as is being investigated. This court is equally a human rights defender and must balance these peculiar circumstances for the said respondent. And as such, this court requires that he be put in a police station near to the hospital that he usually seeks his constant medication so that he can access his medical team at the soonest possible time in case of a crisis that concerted investigations to commence with him so that he can be released within 10 and maximum of 14 days so that we balance the investigations and his health. That Meanwhile, back here in the capital, the Nairobi County government has today begun a crackdown on illegal LPG 